Hi, welcome to my channel. Let the cooking do the talking. For today's episode, we will be making fried pork chops. And uh, this dish is very, very simple. But uh, my recipe calls for it to be soaked in brine, probably overnight. So, let's get started! So for our brine, we will be needing around 4 cups of water, and then we have our garlic, peppercorns, whole peppercorns, bay leaves, salt, soy sauce, and whatever herbs you want to put. I have rosemary would be, probably if you have uh, Time. You can also include it in your uh, in your brine. So let's get started. We need to get a pot, and we are going to put our water. Okay, and then we are going to put our garlic. Together with the skin, put our peppercorns, leaf, our rosemary, salt. And a little bit of soy sauce. We are making a brine. Actually, the brine will help tenderize our pork chops. We will boil this. Uh, and once it has boiled, we are going to uh, transfer it in a Pyrex or the Tupperware and pour it over our pork chops. And you can see the difference and you can taste the difference once you have fried it. Now we're gonna cover our pot and wait for our brine to boil. As soon as it boils, uh, we will let it cool down before we pour it over our pork chops. So while we are waiting for our brine to boil, and it will take some time also for it to cool down, we are going to prep our pork chops. Uh, what we are going to do now is that we are going to put the slit and our pork chop down why do I put this? actually para hindi rin mag curl diba? sana nga mamaya hindi mag curl Sana hindi matigas ang ulo nito ang pork chop na to. At sumunod. So, uh, we have about 6 pork chops again. So, enough para Pusog sa mga kakain nito. So, 
It's as simple as that lang. Medyo magsislip lang tayo dyan para Not one really all the way Pero enough lang para Kasi baka naman Mga hulo, uh, masira Yung taba Masarap din yung may taba kasi Ito yung nagpapalambot Sa mismong pork shop natin Okay. Not all the way. Gentle run lang. Masyadong bruise po. Ayan. Our bride solution is now boiling. So at this point, oh, bango. Amoy na amoy yung ating mga bawang and rosemary. At this point, we can turn off the heat and wait for our brine to cool down. So now that the brine solution has cooled down, uh, we are going to pour it our Tupperware together with all our peppercorn, garlic, rosemary. After we are going to put our pork chops, our bread. Our pork shop that is 
somewhat uh, wet because it will oil will splatter all over the face. So, that's a tip. We should make sure that our meat is dry enough so that oil will not splatter. So anyway, we are going to re-season our uh, pork chops to make it more tasty. Para mas malasa. Season both sides with salt and pepper. This time we are using uh, crushed peppercorns. This is uh, crushed peppers. Para medyo Meanwhile, while you are doing this, you have to heat up your oil a bit. And the pan should be waiting for you and not the other way around. So, yeah. don't worry about that. Yeah, but having salt because when you put your salt here, that needs to lot sa chopping board yung bang salt. Okay, so in a few minutes we will deep fry our pork chops. Oil is hot enough, so we are going to lower it deep a bit so my uh, okay. now we are going to put our pork shot We will fry this until our pork chop is slightly golden brown. You can actually make breaded pork chops also, but I like it just the way it is. And let's just wait until the other side is done. Try to sure that our fat is very crispy. So 
our pork chop is done, we are going to let this sit for a while and we are going to play in a few. So we are done with our pork chop and now we are going to play. Thank you. 